Welcome to XR Temple Tutorials for the XR Web Designer 365 Premium Software. This is lesson number seven. And in this lesson, we're going to be talking about more smart shapes. In this case, we're going to focus on the line and the oval as a smart shape. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do is go to the insert menu at the top of your screen. Click on that and then go to shape and then go to more shapes. And that should bring up the more shapes dialog menu. And from within here, we're going to select import for the line by left clicking on that. And it will import the line into our workspace. And then we're going to go ahead and go back to insert. And then we're going to go to shape more shapes again and this time we're going to import the oval into our workspace so click on import and then we're going to go to our toolbar select the selection tool and after we select the selection tool we'll go ahead and drag the oval away from the line so that the two shapes are separated so once those shapes are separated let's go ahead and double left click on the line and you can see that once we double left click on the line it reveals the control handles for the smart shape in this case the line. So if we place our cursor over the middle control handle you will see that it allows us to control the curvature. So let's adjust the curvature. Next let's take a look at the next control handle. You'll see that it adjusts the width of the line. So let's go ahead and adjust the width. So let's next take a look at the end control handles. And you'll see that we can adjust the position. And if we place our cursor on the other control handle on the other side, we can adjust the position from that side. So now let's go ahead and double left click on the oval. And if we place our cursor on the top, we can resize the top. We place our cursor on the right hand control handle. You can adjust the width and the same thing on the other side. Place our cursor on the upper left hand corner control handle. We can control the rounding. We place our cursor on the rotating control handle. We can rotate the object. We place our cursor over the bottom right control handle. We can adjust the scale. So as you saw, depending on the type of shape you're dealing with, the control handles may behave a little bit differently. In the case of the line, you are able to adjust the arc or the curvature of the line. Okay, whereas with the oval, you weren't able to do that. So if this video was helpful, don't forget to embed, comment, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for future videos.